Welcome, Natasha. Do another massage. Today we'll be doing a gua sha facial massage on your face. A little bit of scalp massage. And I also wanted to choose a pair of earrings for you. I have these really beautiful earrings made by a very special person. Her name is Xiaoyan. And she started a business called Eclectica Adornments. And these are all handmade and hammered in the US. Eco-friendly, made out of recycled steel. And non-toxic ethically made. So we have a lot of options to choose from. Like these ones as well. So we will choose best one for Natasha. First just helping to relax her. She already seems very relaxed. <laughs> Which is wonderful. Are you warm enough? Mm -hmm. Just let your head fall into my hands. you need to do. Just let go. Applying some traction to the neck. Gently touching the face. Applying some circular acupressure massage at this point, which is Taeyang. for relieving any tension in this area. Very calming. I wanted to use this jade stone gua sha tool. little argan oil. Introducing the tool. And just following the curves. Just gonna turn your head slightly this way. And 
like to start from the center, move to lateral, to the ends here, and do a little wave, holding the tool at a, about a 30 degree angle. midline. Releasing tension, swelling. special attention to the masseter muscle. It can often be tight. Applying this roll on remedy with peppermint oil and juniper. Applying it along the anterior hairline. Seeing this kind of heart shaped hairline that you have, it's so <laughs> sweet. Following it, those essential oils into the skin. And then, 
like to also continue the massage into the scalp. Argan oil into the neck. And keeping the gua sha tool on the trapezius. Sternoplatomastoid, as well as some other muscles that are in here, like the scalenes, the levator scapulae in the back. These are the muscles that we're focusing on. Working into the occipital region again. Just waving the gua sha tool in there. I also just love the sound of the jade in the hair. on those neck muscles here, hoping to relieve some of the muscle adhesions. Those are my dogs, Zelda and Ash, playing outside. They love to play, especially after they've had their dinner, so <laughs> to release all that.
have some facial ice globes. Be right back. I have these blue facial ice globes that make this really lovely sound. And they're kind of mesmerizing. Use these before? No, never. No. It's really cool. And they're going to be cool on your face, okay? Mm hmm. Very gently on the eyes. The other eye, very gently. Facial roller. We're going to explore the jewelry, eclectic adornments, 
by Xiao Yin and we'll choose a pair for you. designs laid out back here and they're all quite earthy and celestial and just so beautifully designed and handcrafted and hammered so I'll show you each one Natasha you let me know what your top three are and then I can read out the descriptions of what they mean and we can try them on Okay. All right. Wow. There's so many. There's so, There's so many. Oh, that's so cool. This one is called the interconnected earrings. Mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So I like. I think those ones. Yeah. And then actually, and then these two as well. These two. Yeah. Okay. Starting with the interconnected earrings. So, reading the description. Above, giant mushrooms bloom from the ground. Below, its mycelial roots connect countless species of the forest. This design, paying homage, to our fungal counterparts is here to remind us that while each of us, each of our individual lives may seem separate, under the surface of appearance, vast networks of empathic nerve endings bond us to souls hundreds of miles away. Though through this web of life, none of us are alone. It reminds me of how we are connected to everyone that's watching this video as well. Mm -hmm. No matter where they are, you know, the empathic nerve endings, the mirror neurons allow them to enjoy the ASMR that we present and feel relaxed through you. So I think these are really fitting to describe that mm -hmm. phenomenon as well. We have a little wood carving of mushrooms here as well that my friend gave me so would you like to try those on? yeah For the thousandth time, the archer shoots a worn arrow to finally pierce this bullseye. This is how we, too, hit our own targets. In the beginning, we think that we will know a path is meant for us by its ease, but as we mature, life reveals to us that resistance can, in fact, be a sign of rightness. This design invites us to rethink our own struggles 
for they might just be allies here to strengthen us for the missions we came here for. This is the really earthy fungal vibe earlier. And finally, we have the spectrum of divinity. Rainbow arches of light unabashedly gleam each shade of the earthly spectrum. And yet, in our world, it seems like at every stage we're told to desaturate our vibrance into palpable shades of gray. This design invites us to not only accept the uniqueness of each of our incarnations, but appreciate them as prismatic facetta of the one divine light of source. And by shining, we give others the permission to do the same. I love that. Oh, that's going to make me cry. It's <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. Especially as like a neurodivergent. Like it just... I was just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I just like connect with that description. So. Oh. <laughs> I had a feeling that these are the ones that you would choose. Is yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You should definitely keep these. Mm. I'll send these home with you and then you can wear them and be reminded of your own mm -hmm. brilliant light mm -hmm. and to remember to always mm -hmm. shine that light even when others tell you to dim it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so that it doesn't slip off. Kind of just that. There. Perfect. And there you go. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day with your friends and family. And I'm super excited for you going on this trip to Australia. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for watching. And I know there's a lot of you in the audience that are probably neurodivergent as well. <laughs> Giving you all a big hug and just a reminder to, yeah, let it all shine, let it all come out because we need more of that in this world. And I think the designer of this jewelry. Xiao Yin would definitely agree as she's also neurodivergent and, you know, some of the most like beautiful creative things in the world are created by us neurodivergent folks so definitely important place in the world okay good night everyone and see you in the next video <laughs>